Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome to an Ancient Empires Faction Unit Overview video. Uh, this is where I essentially pick one of the factions, I go over all of their units, since we don't have a campaign starting position or any conditions like that. This is strictly going to be a unit overview for custom and multiplayer battles. This is where I'll go over all the units, and in case I haven't said units enough, this is a unit overview so again Bithynia is going to be our choice today I like Bithynia they seem like a pretty decently strong faction they don't have a whole lot of spear and melee infantry options but where they excel at is going to be their ranged unit and in their cav so let's get to it their general is only one unit we can get the Bithynian guard now these Bithynian guard are going to actually be pretty sweet looking units. They have their heavy spear infantry. Again, tiers do not matter at this point, at least from the last that I heard. So that tier three means absolutely nothing right now. It's just something they have to put into the game for units at this point. Average armor rating, excellent morale, a pretty high melee defense and very decently high morale. So they're gonna be a pretty strong heavy spear infantry unit to have in your arsenal. Moving down to Spear Infantry, we have four choices. We have Bithynian Thurio 4 oi I'm assuming that's how you say it. That's got how I'm going to say it. They are Spear Infantry, but they also have a ranged offense. Their missile range of 70 really isn't too bad. Uh, so they will actually be a pretty good unit. They have pretty high melee defense, considering that the Bithynian Guard has 17. They have 15. They actually have a pretty decently good charge rating as well. Their armor rating is not that great but they're still a pretty good standard unit. Next to them are Mercenary Thurio 4 oi Thurio 4 oi and they are going to be the exact replicas of their Bithynian counterparts with the exception that these guys cost four pennies, four whatever more. They cost four more talents. Now, uh, I do believe this little sigil here means that they are mercenary units. And so we will get to that in just a second. Next to them are some Bithynian Peltas. Now, I always thought that Peltas, I need to do my research because I always assumed that Peltas were simply ranged units. But I'm thinking now that Peltas just means that they do have the ability to have that ranged offense. So these guys are going to be spear infantry. They have excellent morale. They have morale of 13 and they have a missile weapon just like the rest of the other spearmen do. Which I think is cool. I think it's cool to have spearmen have missiles before they do. A lot of these units in the ancient empires all have missile weapons. Some sort of pilum or some sort that they throw. Now, next to them is the most elite spear infantry. You have your Bithynian guard. These are the same units as the general. And uh, another thing that I really enjoy about the ancient empires mod is you have unit caps. Uh, the way is it explained, I was talking to the developer. <coughs> And he said that you will have different population, you'll have a cast system within the game. So you will have you'll have your low pleb, your low class, your middle and your upper class. And as such, you're only gonna recruit be able to recruit certain units based on your certain class population. As such, Bithynian guards, I'm assuming they're going to be kind of limited at three per army in custom battle because you're not really going to be able to field very many of them in the campaign. I don't know if that's a crossover or Bithynian guard are just so good that they really just want to hold them back. There are several units across all factions that have a unit cap and I think that's a really good thing to help balance out multiplayer. So Bithynian guard, they are going to be a great heavy spear infantry. Now, coming down to melee infantry, the first thing I want to note is that all three of these are mercenaries. The reason why, I'm not sure. I don't know why they don't have any regular Bithynian melee. It could be that they don't have, um, they just don't have melee. Historically, they were more of a spear infantry since they are, have that heavy, since they do have that heavy Greek influence. It could be that melee infantry just wasn't on their mind, and so they just recruited from the local area. So we have at our disposal mercenary Thracian Peltests, which are basically the equivalent of Bithynian Peltests, uh, in my opinion, maybe not, except for they're definitely more melee for sure. Mercenary Thoracotai, we've seen them throughout the Greek factions, and they are definitely a good unit to have uh, in, your, in your group. And then last but not least, Mercenary Galatians. Mercenary Galatians are really good units. I loved using them when I played as Galatia. And uh, they have a good armor rating, they have very good morale, and they have a good charge rating, which is pretty crucial. 
Moving down to ranged units, we have uh, essentially a Bithynian and then a mercenary version on all three parts. So we start out with Bithynian archers. These have average morale, good ammunition, but a poor armor rating. Mercenary Cretan archers, they are basically going to have the same, I don't know, features, but they are going to be drastically uh, improved over their Bithynian archer counterpart. Now, one thing to mention is that 127 units for a unit, or 127 talents, I'm going to call everything talents, uh, money for a unit of Bithynian archers, 381 for mercenary Cretan archers. And while that may seem pretty expensive, uh, depending on their upkeep in the campaign, I feel like they're a very good unit to have in, I would definitely, the upgrade is worth the money. Now slingers, you have Bithynian slingers and mercenary Rhodian slingers. These guys are a little bit different. They only cost 13 more than their Bithynian counterparts, but they have quite the extended range. Their ranged offense is better. Pretty much everything. Melee defense is much higher than their Bithynian counterparts. So for 13 talents more, it is very much well worth your upgrade. And then you have Bithynian Uzonois and then Mercenary Cretan using a wise. Now these guys are the exact same unit. Uh, they, I mean, literally every single stat is the same. The only difference, and the reason why I have Mercenary Cretan use a wise, is because their stamina is very good, while the Bithynians is only a good stamina. So they'd be able to hold up in battle better. On to the Cav. We have two sets of cav within the melee department we have Bithynian heavy cavalry which are very good units but then their mercenary counterparts do have better rating armor rating and a better melee defense mercenary Galatian riders now if you'll notice both of these are capped at four per army so you definitely not gonna be able to field a whole lot of cav in a Bithynian army actually you will just not in terms of melee now they have some Mycenaean cav for their bow infantry. These guys are actually pretty stinking good. I really like them. The best features I like about both the bow and the skirmisher cav is their ability to file, fire while moving and have Parthian shot. They fire all around and not just in front of itself. So not only can they fire while they're moving, they can fire wherever and whatever angle they need to fire at. Skirmisher cav are the same way. I don't want to field any artillery for the battle, so I'll just point out that you have Oxabelles. These guys are fixed artillery. The best advantage that Oxabelles have is their rate of fire is at 44. The Ballista, their best advantage is that they can move around uh, and they have a higher missile range, they have a higher ranged offense, and they have uh, significantly less ammunition and very much significantly less, less than a third of the rate of fire so it depends on what you want to go for in terms of this if you want the ability to move sorry about that going for the ballista if you want the ability to really do some damage quickly go with the oxabelles so we are going to fight a battle against armenia i have all my units set up one thing i really want to point out about bithynia is i have a 40 stack with funds on large and I have over 2,000 talents left over. So this 40 stack of troops, and this is a pretty good amount of troops. I have Peltas, I have Bithynian Guard, Thracian Peltas, a lot of infantry, I have a lot of ranged, including a lot of Rhodian, or of Cretan archers, which are the expensive dudes. I have some good Galatian riders, I'm capped out there. I have four Mycenaean Cav and four Light Cav. So that's a lot. That's a lot of troops, and I still have two grand left over, so in terms of custom battles, you'll be able to field a 40-stack army, plus give some experience to some of these guys. Other than that, let's go ahead and hit the battle. Alright, so here we are, guys. We are playing in a, basically just a grasslands map close in the region of Bithynia. We are playing with our 40-stack. We are playing against Arminia's 40-stack, and we'll just see how well the battle goes. Now, we they are on the offensive and it looks like we have a troop count of a little over 12,800. So if this is laggy, I do apologize. I just wanted to see what a Bithynian army would look like at full strength. So let's go ahead and get right on to it. They have put a majority of their cav over here on the right side. We are going to use our cavalry. Let's see, missile suppression. 
Let's actually just do standard shot. We're going to sneak up behind them. We're also going to use our missile skirmisher cav. I'm really not going to move much from this. From this position. I don't really feel like it it's necessary we can't take that hill before they would get to it so there's really no use in taking that at all and plus we have I don't think necessarily that we have missile superiority but we definitely do have an advantage over our enemies now they are fielding a wide range of units I'm really not going to go over the Armenian faction in fact I may actually do uh, them as one of the factions for sure not for sure I just would like to Let's go ahead and begin firing. You guys can skirmish. As can you. Let's get a couple of those Arminian Nakarar Cav out of the way. You guys should probably run. Well, yeah, that's your own daggum fault. I told you to run. And you don't run, and now you're getting absolutely slaughtered by some Arminian Nakaras. Nakaras. Yeah, skirmish mode is not always the best mode at all. And it doesn't really look like they even react, to be honest. Go ahead and just get these guys behind. Here we go. Now I am not. I don't approve of the um, of the AI to instantly want to use their troops, like to use their general. Their general tends to want to focus on going on some death matches before he runs off. I don't really approve of it, but if that's what they want to do, then that's what they want to do. Let's go ahead and get after the skirmisher cab. We've lost... Oh, no, we haven't even lost one of our own. Good. For the most part, we are very much losing this battle. I'm actually going to draw my mercenary galatians over here. You are going to run into those guys. really need you guys to focus on taking out these units. Yeah, so far we're really going to lose. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get one of these guys over here. We're going to get two of our units and we're going to try and convince these guys to not take out these skirmisher cab. Let's go ahead and get these into the battle. Taking out those cataphracts, man, they're going to be really hard to fight against. Let's go after these, though. We're going to fold our troops in here. Those guys can hold off for just a little bit. Man, they are just, we are just losing hard, aren't we? Let's go after these men. You're going to go after those mercenary Thorakatai. We're going to close in on those other troops. Let's get it out there. Kill as many of the cataphracts as you can. Now let's get these guys into this battle. We are going to have to fight. Let's go ahead and throw everyone else in who's not already in the battle. And it looks like their units don't like being hit from behind. Their general has uh, been routed. So hopefully that will give us a big enough debuff on their end to really push them to be a little more conservative. Fatigue is everything. Remember that. Always remember that. If you have units who are fresh, they will do so much better in battle. And uh, you are almost guaranteed to win even if you are outnumbered. 
So always remember that, my young Padawans. Alright, so we're not doing too shabby. There's definitely things we could improve on. Looks like we're going to need to throw our troops into here. Um, let's see, what else could we do? We can bring these troops around. Really don't want you guys getting in mixed in. Actually, these are just Arminian levies. So they will hold out pretty well. Man, against those cataphracts, there's really just not a lot that we can do, is there? We can take them down, that's what we can do. Let's get our general into the mix. Make sure I'm not missing anyone. We've routed those Kurdish spearmen. Let's go ahead and hit those guys in the side. Let's come in from this angle. Let's come in from this angle. Let's get some pretty sweet looking action into here. Just the scale of these battles is unreal. It's absolutely unreal. It's like nothing I've ever really played before. And sure it's laggy, but it looks dang good. And if we can convince enough people to, I feel like we can definitely take them on. We can get those cataphracts taken out. And I'm actually going to peel off some units. Let's go after these guys. Hit these dudes in the back. Again, we're trying to convince these guys to leave. Let's go ahead and start shooting after the Scythian. Scythian horse archers, man. I'm glad for their return because I loved them and I loved using them, but fighting against them sure was a pain in the butt. But I'm glad that they're back. Let's go ahead and hit these troops in the back. Get out of there. Get out of there. Hit these dudes in the back. Hey, looky there. We got a unit of skirmisher cav who've come back. Awesome. You can go there. Let's get you guys going after those dudes. Oh, good lord. There we go. Let's get them stuck. Let's see what we're doing over here. Those are rare routing. Yes. Yes. We are winning. Hit everyone in the back. That's the key. You get tired units and you hit them in the back and their morale just goes way down. We just got to be able to take out these Scythian horse archers. If we can route those cataphracts, that would be great. Let's go after those cataphracts. Let's get my slingers to go after those horse archers. We've routed pretty much their entire right flank, or left flank, I guess that would be our right flank. Sweet, so let's go ahead and focus on them. Let's scoot around back. I can use these guys to corner those troops. With those troops cornered, they're really not going to be able to do much. Let's go after those cataphracts. Let's get after these dudes. And it's this flank that we're going to have to really focus all of our attention on. I'm going to go ahead and draw more troops out. You're actually going to engage these guys. You're going to go there. We're going to bring this troop around. Bring this troop around. You guys will literally get into their backside. 
They are very tired. How are these guys? They're active. Good. That will help. Sweet. We've routed one unit of cataphracts. Rodian Slingas. Go there. Oh, hey, dude. What's up? Come back into the battle, please. We finally caught their unit of Scythian horse archers. Those guys will route pretty quickly. You just always got to catch up to them. That's the hardest part. Sweet, they're gone. Let's get back into the battle. Skirmisher Cav, you're going to hit those guys in the back. Archers, you're going to get re-lined up. You need to reform. There we go. Hit those in the back. Uh, you're going to go here. I'm going to hit you there. Peel off. Here we go. There we go. we got to get these cataphracts out of the way. And if we do, that's pretty much a guaranteed victory for us as we will have complete and total uh, cav superiority. Let's start firing into these what are these guys? Arminian Azuas? Azats? Azats? Come on, men. You can do this. You can fire a couple of volleys at them. You guys get into the battle. Hit him in the back, boys! That's going to be pretty devastating. Yeah, their morale is, should just be dropping. It should be dropping. Not saying it is. There we go. They're going to start routing soon. Oh, hey, what's up? You got a charge off. Good for you. Hit him. 30 seconds if we can hit a morale debuff. I feel like if we do this morale debuff one more time, we should be able to make them route. I, I think the morale will just be so low that it'll definitely work to our advantage. As you can see, some of those units are already wavering pretty hard. Oh, their morale... Their morale is at 4. 3. Their morale is at minus 3. And their whole flank is starting to route. Sweet! We routed those last guys. Let's go ahead and hit that. Let's hit it. Boom, boom. Let's do that morale debuff just as the final kicker in the gut. And that is the end of the battle. Awesome. Close victory. Over uh, 12,800 units. We only lost 2,245. I thought we were pretty screwed there. Their cataphracts and their Scythian horse archers absolutely wrecked us. But we didn't do too bad ourselves. It proves that we can hold the line pretty effectively, uh, better than I thought. They are definitely a skirmish faction. Bithynia is uh, definitely um, on the move kind of deal, but they can hold their own in a full-scale battle. So I hope you enjoyed this unit overview. This is something I've never really done before, so I'm definitely going to not be very good at it at the beginning, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any advice for unit overviews specifically, uh, be sure to leave those in the comments, but if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I hope you will hit that subscribe button. Every bit of your support helps me grow quicker and helps me have more influence. There will be more unit overviews in the future. I don't know how often I will make them or how quickly I can get them out, but I will certainly try my best. Other than that, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. This is Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace!